Hi, I'm Martin Crossley, Senior Lecturer here at Swansea University, and I'm here today to talk about my book, Essential Topology. Essential Topology is a textbook for math students in their final year of undergraduate study who wish to learn about the subject known as topology. Usually we would describe a subject by saying what it studies, but for topology it's actually easier to say what it ignores, which is distance. A familiar example of this is the London Underground map. That map is very good for finding how to get from Ealing Broadway to Piccadilly Circus, for example, but it is no good for finding the distance between them. It contains some types of information, but not others. But by discarding some information, it simplifies and clarifies, for example, by making the central line from Ealing Broadway a dead straight line through the central London, straightening out all its kinks, since we don't need to know about them. This is not geographically accurate, but it is topologically accurate. The study of topology actually began a little bit before that map, when people noticed that in certain situations, in maths and physics, the outcome of a calculation or experiment didn't depend on the exact path taken, different paths that were topologically equivalent would give the same result. Topology began with the task of making these observations precise and understanding their constraints. Since that time, of course, many textbooks have been written on the subject. So it is reasonable to wonder why I wanted to write another one. Trust me, it wasn't for the money. There's not a lot to be made writing advanced university textbooks. The reason is more interesting because it touches on something of a paradox in maths. As any mathematician will tell you, maths is permanent and unchanging. A mathematical theorem from Pythagoras' day is still a mathematical theorem today, and a theorem proven today will remain true forever. A scientific theory may be disproved by later experiments, and a literary theory may go out of fashion, but a mathematical theorem remains. That being the case, why do we need new books? Surely we can just use the old textbooks, since nothing in them has become wrong or superseded? There is some truth in that, and on a maths degree you will find recommended texts from long ago, which confirms this. But on the other hand, new research gives us new perspectives on older material. What used to be important may now appear less so while other things that used not to be taken seriously now become the key to some important question. Even over a hundred years, there has been a lot of research in topology and a lot of change perspectives. So that is why I wrote my book on topology, to present some of the material of this subject in the light of current research perspectives. Research also guided me more directly because I wanted the book to provide students with what they needed to be able to start their own research careers, at least as far as this was possible. That's where the title Essential Topology came from, because I tried to map out the straightest path to the edge of current research, taking in the sites that they needed to see, but avoiding any unnecessary distractions.